With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question says that three tankers contain 403 liters, 434 liters and 465 liters of diesel respectively. So there are three tankers and containing this much amount of diesel. And then the question further says, find the maximum capacity of a container that can measure the diesel of the three containers exact number of times. So we are asked to find out the maximum capacity of the container that can measure the the that can measure the diesel that is present in these containers. So whenever we are supposed to find out the maximum capacity of something, something greatest maximum. Then what we are asked in the question is we are we are going to do such type of question by finding out the HCF of the given numbers. Here we are given the capacities of different containers. So when we find out the HCF of the of the amount of uh, diesel present in different containers, that HCF will tell us the maximum capacity of the container that can measure the diesel present in these three containers. So this is how we are going to proceed. We are going to find out the HCF. HCF of 403 liters 434 liters and 465 liters these three are in liters so let's do it so now write uh, 403 as a product of its or as a product of uh, prime factors so we will have let's take uh, first of all 403 so 403 is uh, starting how do we do prime factorization we Keep on dividing the number with by prime factors, for example, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, until you get a 1. So, 403 is not divisible by 2. So, we will go for the next prime number. 403 is also not divisible by 3. So, what we find is that 403 is only divisible by the prime number 13, which will give us, on dividing 403 by 13, we will get 31. 31 is a prime number. So, it will be divisible by itself only. So, we will have 31 here. And 31 multiplied by 1 is 31. So, now, 403 can be written as 403 can be written as 13 multiplied by 31. Now let's 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 move to the next number. Uh, the next number is 434. So now let's uh, write down 434 as a product product of its prime factors. So 434 is divisible by 2. So we will divide it by 2. We will get 217. Now 217 is not divisible by 2. So we will proceed to the next prime numbers. So what we find is that it is divisible by 7. So on dividing it by 7 we will get 31. Now 31 is a prime number so it will be divisible by 31 only. So we can write 434 as 434 will be equal to 2 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 31. Now we have 465. Now 465 Again, starting with 2, 2 is, uh, 465 is not divisible by the prime number 2. So, we will move to the next prime numbers. And what we find is that it is divisible by 3. So, on dividing it by 3, we will get 155. On dividing 155 by 3, we, we found that 155 is not divisible by 3. So, it will be divided by the next prime number that is 5. And we will get 31 here. Now, 31 is itself a prime number. So, it will be divisible by itself and 1 only. So, we will have 31 multiplied by 1 is equal to 31. Now 465 465 can be written as product of its prime factors that is 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 31. Now we find out the HCF. How do we find out the HCF? The HCF is equals to the common factor. The product of the common factors. What are the common factors? Here 13 is present but 13 is not present in all the all, all the factors of all the numbers. So 13 is uh, not will not be considered. Now next number is 31. 31 is present in all the factors of uh, or all the product of prime factors of the given number. So 31 will be our HCF. So HCF will be 31. So that means the capacity, the maximum capacity of the container that can measure the diesel of the three containers exact number of times is. So the final answer is final answer is maximum capacity of the container that can measure the diesel present in all the three containers exact number of times is 31 and uh, we already know that uh, this 31 is actually in liters because 
all the numbers that we were considering were in liters 403 liters 434 liters 465 liters so the answer is 31 liters that's all thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today